Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my third gift guide of 2022. I recently released my gift guides for him and for her. They're up on my channel if you want to see those, but I will leave them in the description box down below. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my stocking filler gift guide for her. So Christmas, as we know, is just around the corner and it seems to be rapidly approaching. And if you're someone that has a tradition of doing stockings every Christmas, it can sometimes be a little bit difficult to think of things to actually put inside the stockings. I was recently having a browse on the internet, sort of like at some of the gift guides that they have on different websites and a lot of the gift guides that I was seeing at like stocking filler ones were for really expensive things or just generally things that are like massive and just wouldn't really fit nicely into a stocking so I decided to create a list of my own and I have over a hundred stocking filler gift ideas on my list. This took me a really, really long time to make and I really had a proper think about things that people actually want to get into a stocking. So I do have my list in front of me, so if I am looking down a lot in the video, it's because I have my list here and I'm just checking all of the things that I've written down. So if you're struggling to think of stocking filler presents for someone for this year, I hope that this gift guide gives you some ideas. So anyway, let's get into the gifts because there are over a hundred of them to get through. So the first category I have is like makeup slash beauty. Some lip gloss or lip balm, these are the perfect size for stockings. I really like the Carmax lip like lip balm stuff. I feel like that's really good especially for the winter. An eyebrow grooming kit that has brushes and those tweezers that you can just like groom your eyebrows with. Some makeup miniatures. These are the perfect kind of things to put into a stocking for someone that loves makeup. If you just type in makeup miniatures online you can find some really cute little lipsticks or some really nice like miniature mascaras. A beauty blender. Again if you know someone that likes makeup this is like the perfect thing for them. To go along with that you could always get a beauty blender carry case. It's so easy to get these dirty and I feel like they definitely need their own case. So miniature makeup brushes, those ones that are like half the size and they're really cute and they're a lot easier to travel with than the normal size ones. Some of those powder puffs, I feel like they're really making a comeback recently. I've seen them pretty much everywhere but you could always include some of those. Some nail varnish or a nail varnish gift set. A set of like those sick on nails. I feel like so many people are using these now and you can get some really good quality ones. I know they sell them on Etsy, like some customized ones. A couple of sets of eyelashes. You can't really go wrong with those for a stocking stuffer. One of those miniature compact mirrors, ones that you can just like carry around in your bag. They're so much easier to use than your phone to like check your makeup and stuff. It's just good to have a nice mirror with you. Some of those little lip scrubs. Dior lip oils. I've seen these absolutely everywhere. They are really, really popular. I've never tried them myself, but they look really good. Small little makeup trays that they can put their like makeup and stuff in. Just like the small one that can fit, fit like a couple of lipsticks in. Miniature eyeshadow palettes. These are so cute. I know that Huda Beauty do some really, really cute ones. Really small makeup bags that they can carry around in their handbag if they want to take makeup out with them. Something similar would be one of those small little lipstick tube holders that you can like clip onto your bag. Eyebrow razors. I've seen so many people using these for their face as well but I use them to trim my eyebrows and they're really really good. So the next category I have is body products slash skincare products. Some sheet masks. You can't really go wrong with these. They fit really well in a stocking. I know that Pure Soul do some really good Korean sheet masks miniature hand creams that you can like stick in your handbag. I feel like it would even be better if you found a Christmassy scented one. Some miniature shower products, so some like really small little shower gels or shampoos or something. You could even get some from Lush. I know they do like miniature versions of their shower gels that are really nice. You could always get something like that. Something similar would be some bath bombs. Obviously Lush is the best place to go for bath bombs, especially their Christmassy ones. They're so nice. Jade face rollers that you can do a little massage with and also one of those gua sha pieces that you can do a little massage with as well. I have both of those things and they're so so good for a little like depuffing massage. A skincare headband, you can never have too many of these because after a while they start to lose their elasticity. A small perfume or a small body spray, like a 30ml one that you can easily slot into the stocking. One of those handbag perfume sprayers, one that you can fill up with your favourite perfume and then just clip onto your handbag. The perfume shop do them. Similar to sheet masks would be some foot masks, one of the ones like the socks that you put your feet in that make them really nice and soft. Some eye patches, I recommend the Coarse Ricks Snail Mucin eye patches they're so good. Some skincare miniatures. They're like little sample pots. If you just type in skincare miniatures, you can find some really nice sets online. I'm probably going to say this wrong, but one of those are Foreo cleansing brushes. They're really popular. I pretty much see them everywhere now. And you just use them to apply your skincare products with, and they're supposed to be really good for your skin. Some reusable cotton pads, like the ones that you put into the wash after you take your makeup off with them. A reusable cotton bud. There's a brand called Last Swab that I've seen that have a reusable cotton bud that I think you just clean and you can keep reusing it. Some of those are face mask brushes, so you don't have to use your fingers to apply a face mask. Some cuticle oil, these are really good, especially if you have like acrylic nails and like not dry them out. An electric nail file, these are so much easier to use than the manual ones to like get rid of like sharp parts of your nails. One of those loafers or shower puffs, those like 
puffy things that you use in the shower. So the next category I have is hair care products and hair accessories. The hair claw clips, I think these look so pretty. You can buy some really nice ones on Amazon. Since it's winter, you could always give them a nice new hat, like a new bobble hat. One of those like detangler brushes, like the small ones that fit really nice in your bag. Some miniature hair care products. I know Olaplex do like gift sets of really small ones that would fit really nicely in a stocking. Clip-in hair rollers. I've seen that these are making a bit of a comeback and people are using them to curl their hair with. You could always get one of those. The scalp massages. They're supposed to be really good for like simulating your scalp. A pack of really cute hair scrunchies. You can find some Christmassy hair scrunchies as well, which are really cute. Okay, so the next category is accessories slash jewelry. One of those is silk eye masks that help you sleep. Some body jewelry, if they have like a belly piercing or a nose piercing, you could always get them some new ones. A new pack of winter gloves because you can't have too many nice winter gloves. You could obviously put some fluffy socks in there, they are perfect for a stocking. A new set of earrings, you could even get some like snowflake ones or some Christmassy ones. A new charm bracelet, or if they have a charm bracelet, you could always put some really nice charms in there. Some of those fake transferable tattoos, if you know someone that really wants to get tattoos but they're not really sure if they'll suit them, you could get them some of those like ones that last a couple of weeks and then they wash off. Some of those slipper socks ones that you can like roll up and pop into the stocking. A set of badges. I've actually seen so many people pin these to like leather jackets and denim jackets and they look really nice. A nice little necklace. You could even get like their name on a necklace and pop that into the stocking. You can get really nice customizable necklaces from places like Etsy. The next category I have is electronics slash electronic accessories. A disposable camera, I really like these for taking pictures and I love how you don't know what you're taking a picture of until you print it out. A new watch, you could even get them like an Apple watch and put it right at the bottom of the stocking like a last present to find at the bottom. Some of those really small packs of fairy lights, they're so cute and you can just put them around your room and make it look all cosy. Some LED lights, I know most people already have these but if they don't you can always get them some for Christmas. An LED light bulb, if they can't get LEDs for some reason you can always get them the light bulbs that change colour with a little remote. A new memory card or camera battery. If you know someone that has a YouTube channel or they just take pictures like photography, you could always get them a new memory card and a new battery and put that in the stocking. Some watch straps. If they already have a nice watch, you can get them some really pretty watch straps. A little bit more expensive, but some Bluetooth earphones. A new phone case. It's nice to switch them out every now and then. I feel like they would fit perfectly in there. A new phone ring or a pop socket. One of those phone power banks that you just plug your phone into. An Amazon Fire Stick. Some of those electronic hand warmers, these are so good in the winter, they make your hands feel so warm when you're out in the cold. One of those phone photo printers that you can just print Polaroid to type pictures off with. A really, really long phone charger, because I feel like everyone has like the generic sort of like short ones. An AirPods case, Amazon have some really good ones of these. A phone ring light that you like plug onto the top of your phone and you can take really nice pictures with them. A shower speaker, one of those ones that you can stick onto the shower wall and listen to music with. Or just one of those really, really small speakers that will fit into a socket. One of those wireless chargers that you can get. Okay, so the next category I have is sort of like food slash drink. The most obvious one to me to put into stockings is a pack of chocolate coins. You can't make a stocking without putting chocolate coins in there. And kind of similar is like a little pack of candy canes or just some candy canes and like turn them up in a little ribbon and pop them in the stocking. Some hot chocolate sachets or just like a hot chocolate set with little marshmallows. Some really small bottles of little coffee syrups. One of those handheld milk frother things, like the electronic ones. Some miniature bottles of alcohol. You can pretty much get these in any superstore. Another good place to get these is B&M. They have so many different gift sets of like little alcohol bottles. A miniature box of chocolates, like a little one. And Hotel Chocolate do like these mix and match packs of like smaller chocolates and you can put one in each stocking. I think you get like three for 15 pounds, I think it is. And you could always put some like different flavored tea bags in there. Some of those reusable glass straws. They're obviously so much better for the planet and I don't really like the metal ones that they do because they get really cold if you have cold drinks. So I feel like the glass ones would be better. If you're making a stocking for someone who doesn't really like chocolate, you could always put sweets in there instead, like little bags of jelly beans or little like gummy sweets. All right, the last category that I have for stocking fillers is just the miscellaneous or other category that I couldn't really fit into the other categories. One of those cute small little A3 journals or a similar thing would be just a small version of like a planner. A card game. This would be really nice if you got a card game that you could play around Christmas time as well. You could get like Uno or just like a set of cards. If you know a girl that likes gaming, you could always get them some headset horns. I have some of these and they look so cool. They like strap onto the top of my headset like devil horns. They look so cool. Cute little mini fake plants that they can just dot around their room. Some of those little tubes of like paint, like acrylic paints or some little paint brushes. Miniature travel razors, like the little ones that come in like a little box. A pack of stickers that they can use to like stick to their laptop or even just put around their room. Redbubble is the best place to get stickers. Some tea light candles. If you can find some Christmassy scented ones as well, that would be even better. Or just like a jar candle. You could even have like one of those big candles and like have that as the main present in the stocking right at the bottom. And then something for that would be 
be one of those really long candle lighters that are just a lot easier to light candles with. You could pop that in there as well with the candles. Candle wax melts that you put onto those candle wax burners and you put a little tea light underneath. You could even get some like gingerbread scented ones or some spice scented ones. One of those car air fresheners that you can hang up in your car. They have so many Christmassy scented ones as well. Put a gift card in there to their favorite clothing store, a makeup gift card, like Netflix or whatever you want to put in there. You could put a miniature purse in there, like a little miniature coin purse and you could put a bit of money in there. If you know someone that likes tarot cards, you could always put a stack of tarot cards in there. And another thing would be like a little pot of crystals. That would be really nice as well. One of those card holders. Do you know what I mean? Like the ones that you put like your credit and your debit card into. Like it's not a purse, it's like a card holder. And they're a lot easier to like slip into your pocket if you're just going to the shop or something. Some cute stationery. So you could put some lovely pens in there, a little mini calculator, or just some really nice stationery that they can use for like their schoolwork and stuff. A custom Christmas bauble. I feel like if you made your mum a stocking, this would be the perfect kind of thing to put in there for her. One of those really cute little sun catchers that you put against your window and then when they catch the sun they like reflect a rainbow around your room. A pack of photos, so a pack of photos of you with the person that you're giving the stocking to or just like you and your family. A nice key ring to put on their keys, you can get some really cute ones from Sheen, I've seen so many different ones from there as well as Amazon. A set of coasters, a really good place to get coasters is a place called Free Prints because you can print off any picture that you want onto a coaster, even like a really aesthetic picture from Pinterest you can print it onto a coaster. And that was over a hundred stocking filler gift ideas. That was a lot. <laughs> if you have any other suggestions to stocking fillers, please leave them in the comments down below so other people can see them. I really hope that I've helped you think of a few things that you can pop into your stockings this Christmas. I'm going to be releasing my stocking filler gift ideas for him very soon, so if you wanna see that, then please subscribe down below. I hope you all have the most amazing week and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.